What's going on guys and welcome back to my SSX Let's Play series. We are about to attempt the 7th Deadly Descent here in the Africa region now, Mount Kilimanjaro. And this is a headlamp required race. This is it, Mac. Griff is closing in fast. We miss this Deadly Descent and we could fall behind him again. That can't happen. And so, we go now to attempt the 7th Deadly Descent. And here it is, fight through the darkness, Mac. As we drop in with a nice 540 truck driver, and oh, this is a lot darker than the training event. As I've talked about before, the training events for these deadly descents really don't help you out. They give you a taste of what it's going to be like, and then you realize there's a lot more to it once you get to the actual deadly descent. So they don't really give you everything. They only give you a little appetizer of it, I guess, so to speak, but... All right. The headlamp is important now because it is extremely dark in here. It is hard to see. Like the training event, I didn't need the headlamp. I'm not going to get that geotag. But this one could actually be difficult. This one might be a upper, up the brightness on your TV type of level, but uh, I think I got this one. Nothing too hard so far as I get on the rail here, and there is obvious crevices, so don't want to be too fast. But I'm not like racing against anybody. It's a survival event, not like a race or a trick. So, really, speed isn't even important, but not doing that is important. But I'm going to use speed anyways, because I want to get this run over with, as we're 1,500 meters to go now. And it is tough to see. But I got, they don't have enough flares to help you out. Like, I wonder what this is it really, yeah, how am I going to see without the headlamp there? You're going to have to go super slow. It's, it would be super boring to watch me do this with the headlamp, I bet. Oh, don't fall! Alright, we transfer over to this one now. Only a thousand, a hundred to go. This is not too difficult. Don't tell me the last thousand meters is going to be an obstacle course. Oh, okay. All I did was fly off of a rail. Come on, land. There we go. And there's a rail there. I can't see where I'm going. Nine hundred meters to go. You're going the wrong way, Mac. Come on, go the God, go the right way. All right, eight hundred and some odd meters to go. And I'm grinding. I like to grind in these areas because usually grind rails don't lead you to crevices. That would be actually really smart if some did and you'd have to know if like you had to jump off a grind rail. Wow, there's only 550 meters to go. Don't fall again, Mac! I don't know how many rewinds I got left. I just don't want to fall again. But this is just a survival event. If you had to beat a certain time, it might be a little bit more difficult. But this doesn't seem too bad right now. Only 300 meters to go. I kind of expected more out of this. Like, it was difficult. Like, it's a lot darker. And the headlamp is actually important now on this Deadly Descent, but... Eh, I kind of expected more. Anyways, we're in the clear now, and that is a victory. Deadly Descent conquered. Seven down, two to go. How we do for credits this time, Mac? 57,000. And you're up to a level five... Sounds good. Let's see what's up next, everyone. Now, with all of these regions done, we have to go to the Alps. And I'm not sure the last region's gonna be, but here is a little intro video on the Alps. Here, even the most delicate looking thing is built for survival. So, I'm seeking SSX's least delicate rider on him. Simon, the Alps and the Mont Blanc Deadly Descent belong to you. This place is the definition of high altitude engineering. People have built things up here to try to tame these mountains. But as a reminder that the Alps will never be tamed, you'll see that this region has had its nasty way with more than a few of man's toys. The thing that you need to be most aware of is its serious lack of friendly, powdery lines. The Alps have a reputation that's been built from rock, and they'll keep reminding you of that. Your board and your suit have been engineered specifically for these kinds of conditions, but they won't help you for long if you don't pick your lines carefully. I know you don't run away from challenges, Simon. But the key here is avoidance, not attack. Alright, so first up we have a drop, and what is this event going to be? A trick event. Then we have two coming up, this one should be pretty short. We have to unlock Simon first off, like with every other region. And so, let's go check out the Alps. Alright, so here in the Alps, the final event that we have to do is going to be called Rocks. And I wasn't really paying attention during the video, so I'll probably have to rewatch it right now, or after this video. But I'm sure it won't be too hard, and I'm not sure what the final area is going to be, but I am excited for what the last one will be in it. Hopefully it's fun and has a good deli descent, but 
I don't know. I've kind of I've liked some of the Deadly Descents, and I've also really not liked some of them. But I think it'll be fun to go back and explore mode. And uh, I had a really good suggestion on one of my my last video I posted in this series about doing live streams and doing global events in them, and doing like making my own event, and then having people in the stream. They can also play SSX at the same time, and I break my combo, but. People can um, try to beat the scores, and it can just be a live stream, and I go for the high score, and people in the stream do the same thing. I think that's a really good idea, so hopefully that works out, and that would be an enjoyable stream. I haven't done a stream for anything other than football before, so I'll have to see how popular those are and stuff, but I'm sure it'll be a good time, and if I have fun, I'll definitely continue doing them, but I keep falling. That's what I do in Tricket events. I fall a lot. This is a really cool drop. I like a lot of the air you can get here. I've already got two helicopters. And, okay. I didn't realize I was going to fall there, but I'm at a zero multiplier now. Had three spills already. And there's a nice spin. Get my tricky back. And now let's go get some points. Yeah, I'm, I can't stand falling. But this is a really easy drop. I fell four times, broke four combos. Had so many triggers. This is an awesome drop. This is a great drop. It's nice. It's quick. You can get a lot of big air on it. This is one of my favorite ones of the game I've played so far. But, 4600 XP. That's like nothing. And we'll see what's up next. Well, Simon is now unlocked. In the next episode of this series, we'll catch up with another race as we go against three other members of Team SSX as we prepare for the 8th Deadly Descent and continue World Tour mode. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.